This is beautiful. So I wanted to bring as little supplies as possible, little weight as possible, because my workspace is condensed under a nice sports umbrella. Brought my sketchbook. Let's see if I can catch your something. With the markers, I can't erase them, which means I want to lay them next to each other. I can't mix them off the paper, so I have to layer them on top of each other, the colors. So when I'm looking at what I want to do, it's a different idea than painting. And you really have to find what can cross and layer work with each other like pinks and greens to really jump off the page. So I think right now I'm going to do kind of a color study on how to capture this variety of greens in the rain. Wish me luck. <laughs> go out in the rain, even though you have the chance of getting wet, it, the drawing not being perfect, it's sort of nature's way of being like, hey, think about this. cheesy but I don't know I think it works I'm not trying to make it look like the raindrops just trying to get that downward feeling downward motion that's why I like using crosshatch I feel like I can tell the eyes what to do okay so I think I got what I need Having the phonics 
experience of the rain falling straight down and really taking in the different greens and blues and grays and silvers, it was imperative for me to focus on capturing the rain falling vertically and it was just a blast seeing this come through in a painting. It was so much fun painting differently and using my brush strokes differently to bring that across on the canvas.